I would like to show you how to calculate the wastewater flow rate for a commercial building. I would like you to get an understanding of the factors having an influence on the wastewater flow rate. So we will use this uh, flow rate to size uh, the wastewater pump for, for the pumping station. Here I have shown you some examples of the discharge patterns for different uh, commercial buildings. This is for an apartment building and we can see there's fluctuations in the discharge flow. We have a peak flow in the morning in the apartment where showers and toilets are used very frequently. We have an example from a restaurant and from the preparation of uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner, you will have uh, peak flows. And also in a laundry in a hotel, we can see there are fluctuations and there's uh, a peak flow twice a day. The calculated wastewater flow rate is used to uh, select the right pump. And uh, it's important to, uh, to choose a pump which can deliver at least the peak flow. And when we calculate the peak flow, we look into which discharge units are uh, there in the building. And that discharge unit could be a toilet, a dishwasher, a shower, or uh, a laundry machine. The formula for the calculation of the total uh, wastewater flow rate is shown here. Q total equals Q wastewater plus Q continuous plus Q pumping. And this formula is from uh, the EN standard 12056-2. And uh, I can explain that uh, the QVV is the discharge from the, the different discharge units, as mentioned before. Uh, we will look into that in a minute. Uh, the QC uh, is the continuous flow rate. It could be, for example, from, from a, a grease separator, which has a, a nominal size of, for example, seven liter per second, for, uh, for example. And the QP could be a pumping station adding flow uh, to this uh, wastewater system. And the calculation of the Q wastewater is done by this formula. Q wastewater equals a K factor multiplied by the square root of the sum of the discharge units. And we will look into uh, these factors, how to get these values. So the Q wastewater depends on the K factor and the discharge units. And that's both the number of the discharge units and also the flow rates of the individual discharge units. And in the table shown here, you can see the different uh, flow rates from, uh, from the discharge units. And the branch pipe pipes of a, a gravity system in a commercial building, they are div it's divided in, uh, into four different types, system one, system two, system three, and system four. And these system, the difference of these are the gravitation uh, gradient of the, the pipes and also the filling degree. Normally for commercial buildings, you would use a uh, system two. And you can see, for example, that the wash basin has a flow rate of uh, 0 0.3 liter per second, and the shower has a flow rate of 0 0.4 liter per second. That's an uh, estimate of what is the flow from, from these discharge units. Uh, when calculating the wastewater flow rate, uh, a K factor must be chosen. And the K factor is a frequency factor. And this factor shows the simultaneous use of the different discharge units in the building or in the particular system. In the table shown uh, here, you uh, can see different uh, K factors. You will have a K factor of 0 0.5, for example, for dwellings. Um, you have a controlled number of people in a dwelling, so the frequency use is, is lower than 
compared to, uh, for example, the hotels or, or the hospitals, which is uh, 0 0.7. Um, and also for public buildings, you will have a, a frequency factor of uh, 1.0. It's where you have a more uncontrolled number of people, for example, a sports arena. And for laboratories, you'll have a frequency factor of uh, 1.2. Now it's time to make an example of a calculation of uh, the wastewater flow rate in a commercial building. We will make an example of uh, an apartment building where we have uh, the wastewater coming from uh, 10 dwellings. We will use the, the formula uh, as we had in the, in the beginning. QVV equals the K factor multiplied by the sum of the discharge units. So first we will calculate uh, the discharge flow from uh, one dwelling. We have uh, two wash basins in the dwelling. We have two toilets in the dwelling. We have one shower. We have one dishwasher and we have one washing machine. So the total discharge flow from uh, one dwelling will be 6.4 liter per second. And we have 10 dwellings. So the discharge flow from 10 dwellings will be 10 times the 6.4 liter per second. And it will be 64 liter per second. So that's the sum of the discharge units. Then we need to uh, determine the K factor as and as we remember from the table uh, shown uh, just before we had a K factor for dwellings of 0 0.5 so we can calculate Q wastewater from the 10 dwellings and it will be 0 0.5 times the square root of 64. So we will have a wastewater flow rate of 4 liter per second from this apartment building. So the discharge flow rate from uh, the 10 dwellings will be 4 liter per second and Q total will then be the 4 liter per second for the wastewater plus 0 for the continuous flow rate and the pumping flow rate was 0. So we have a total flow rate of 4 liter Per second. This means that we must select a pump which can uh, move at least 4 liter per second to be able to have an efficient uh, wastewater system uh, to discharge the wastewater uh, from this building. So that was a way to calculate the wastewater flow rate from a commercial building and the wastewater flow rate is influenced by uh, the K factor, the simultaneous use of uh, the discharge units. It's also uh, depending on uh, the number of discharge units and the flow rates from uh, the different discharge units in, in the building. And remember, if there's a continuous flow rate and uh, a flow rate from a, a nearby pumping station adding flow to this system, you must include that as well. Thank you.